Yo, what's up, family? Take you back in time on this one here. We're gonna title this one here, Cowboys and Girls. Y'all remember that old song, right, by the Intruders? I love that song, clean music. But you remember how it go, right? Cowboys and girls, I remember when we used to play shoot 'em up, bang, bang, baby. I remember when we used to chase the girls and beat them up, beat them up. <laughs> I know my wife was tripping on that part. But if you keep listening to the song, you see how beautiful it was and innocent. And then like you said, but I was young and didn't understand. But now I'm a grown-up man. I know that girls are made for kissing. Never knew what I was missing. Ever since then, my whole life ain't been the same. My whole world has been rearranged. Oh, baby, cowboys and girls. Now, let's get to the point what I'm talking about. Because that's what made me think about doing this video. I'm looking at nostalgic, I'm listening to nostalgic music. And y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Remember, especially for all the boys. Remember when we was boys? When we was little boys, you know, like the first grade. You know, when you was in the first grade, and all the other boys in this class and the girls, when y'all had a had an event like kickball or whatever, when y'all played, when the teacher would the teacher would it would go something like this. The teacher would go, "Okay, y'all, uh, we're gonna pick teams. We're gonna have two separate teams. We're gonna have we're gonna have Todd and we're gonna have Jonathan, right? So they're the two captains, and Todd and Jonathan gotta let's say I'm Jonathan, right? They gotta pick pick the teams, right? So then that, I would go first. I would go, I got Michael, and then Todd he would go, I got Jamil. And then I would pick the next boy. He picked the next boy. And then eventually, you know, the teacher would be like, no, 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 wait a minute now. Y'all got to be fair. Y'all got to pick some of the girls. Y'all got to pick. Y'all can't just be picking all the boys. But remember, like the song said, cowboys and girls, cowboys and girls. I remember when you were a little boy, you didn't care for girls. You, you, you didn't get it yet. So you actually hated girls. That's why in that song, it said, we, when I chased the girls Beat him up. We ain't actually beat him up. My wife's like, "Why you?" Because I was girl? about to expl I was about to ask you, did you guys literally now, beat what her? What you call beat up back what? when you was in the first grade? Like you would mush the girl, you would push her down, she'd cry. You'd be like, but but when the teacher would tell us to pick teams, the reason we didn't pick a girl because we young and didn't quite understand. You know, we we wasn't caring about being fair. We just want to win. And when we want to win, as a little kid, a little boy, you your whole thing was, I don't want no girl on my team. I mean, she don't even know how to catch a ball. She don't even know how to do nothing. Every time they throw the ball on, she misses it. She can't do nothing, man. And she's slow. I don't want her on my team, man. But you know the team, you know you little little bratty kids, right? But the teacher's like, nah, y'all gonna be fair. Y'all gonna pick some of these girls on y'all team. If y'all not, then y'all can't play yourself. Boy, so then you be you be like you reluctantly you be like, I'm right there. Uh, I take Michelle, and you better not miss it. You better not miss the ball. If I do it, you better catch it, right? <laughs> Cause we was rough on them. Cause we was kids ourselves, like the song, Cowboys and Girls. We didn't understand, you know. But once, isn't it crazy? Those same girls that we hated when we got older, like you said, but now I'm a grown up man. See, now you wanted to be around the girls, but as kids, man, you hated girls. Cause it's like, they can't do, that's how we thought. But remember, every now and then, there was a, a different girl in that classroom that she wasn't like the rest of the girls. That's what I was gonna say. You got a few girls every that are really now, good. Yeah, every now and then it was a girl where, where the teacher would, pick the uh, the teams and it'd be like it'd be like hey joseph uh you racing up against tina and everybody be like yo who, who you racing against who you racing against and they'd be like you racing against tina and be like you gotta race against tina yo man you gonna lose and but like, why you talking about she a girl man like we're about, but nah man she ain't like the rest of the girls man she fast man you gonna lose against tina <laughs> even the boys was kind of scared of tina because they was like nah she fast man she real fast man i lost to her last time man i don't want to go against her <laughs> so it shows how much cowards little boys was because we were so quick to not want them to play with us because we thought they was losers but every now and then it was a girl that was real good then we didn't want to play with her because we knew she could beat us <laughs> so show you how immature we was you know what i'm saying but everybody know what that means. Like I said, I, that's why I love that song, Cowboys and Girls. Because as a, as a child, 
you know, we made so many silly mistakes, especially when it's dealing with other kids. You know, that's why when you have a great teacher, a great teacher, like like I told y'all in this old video right here with Miss Edwards, towards the end of the video, you know, she was a great teacher until she got married and became Miss Goodwin, and she left us and went to a whole nother school for money, which we understand, I understand as I got older. But at the time, I was like, man, she just left us, man. Dad, man, we really liked her, man. She, she helped us a lot. She left us. <laughs> And we, we felt depleted when she left. But she explained things to us. You know, like even something so simple as when Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day came around. She explained to everybody that everybody to be nice and considerate to one another. And don't be just giving cards to your friends. Y'all got to get some to the girls. And some of you girls, y'all got to get some cards to the boys. Because we all going to, we like a family here, right? See, that's how she used to explain to us, Miss Edwards, at the time. And we got it. We really got it. We, we got it. We enjoyed it. And we didn't do that funniness. It wasn't until she left. You know what I'm saying? When she left us, that's when we, we started revering back to the silly ways. But by that time, we started getting a little bit maturity. It was no longer in the first grade. It was like in the fourth grade by then. But, you know, mostly that song, I remember when we used to play shoot em up, shoot em up, bang, bang. I remember when we chased the girls to beat em up. Yeah. It may sound crazy to some. Like my wife said, we didn't actually beat them up. But uh -huh. we do, we would push them. You know, we we mush them in the face. You know, that would make them cry. You know, and we'd be like, we don't want nothing to do with them, man. They corny, they slow, they can't catch. Now, there was one time, like this video right here, where I actually got beat up by a girl when I was like in the, well, I was like in the second grade, whatever. You know, so a little disclaimer there. Yeah, a girl actually beat me up. But like I said earlier, the way we call beat up back then, if you got mushed or whatever. But let's be honest, this girl was in the fifth grade. And I was like in the second grade or whatever. But when the way she treated me, if you watch this video, the way she treated me, all my friends was right there like, oh, yo, she beat him up. But now that they young, you know, they older, right? Yeah, sorting them, huh? Oh, yeah, when they got older, <laughs> you know. It was, it, watch, watch that. I'm going to go with that one too. But before I'm going to jump on that one, but I'm going to lead up to that one. <laughs> And I remember every now and then, like, let's say, let's say the girl couldn't be on our, we didn't want her on a team. And she'd be like, sometimes it'd be a, it'd be a sassy girl. She'd be like, I don't want to be on your team anyway. You, they'd be like, what? Who you think you're talking to? She's like, I'm talking to you. I don't want to be on your team anyway. You're ugly. They'd be like, who you, who you calling ugly? I know you call me ugly. I know you call me. <laughs> <laughs> and then, even like I said, even with the Valentine's, the teacher was like, nah, y'all got to be nice to one another. And be like, look. And sometimes the teacher will pick who we got to get cards to. So let's just say she picked Michelle to give a card to, to Alex, right? So then Michelle be like, I don't want to give him no card. I hate him anyway. <laughs> you know, these, these are kids. I hate him anyway. And he be like, who are you talking to? I know you ain't talking to me. And then she be like, ew. He ugly. Ew. Like, <laughs> they used to get on my nerves with that ill crack. Ew, he ugly anyway. I don't want any. And see, that's how the girls always got back at us. Because remember that little silly saying they used to say, girls are made of sugar and spice and everything nice, right? That's the bull crap. And they used to say, boys are made of dogs and ponytails, um, dogs and snails and pony dog tails or some silly, stupid junk like that. So girls always had this thing like, we're pretty and y'all ugly. So, and they used to love seeing that. Ew, ew, like, ew. Girl, I'll mush you in your face. Who you think you talking to? <laughs> But that's a part of nostalgic memory when you're growing up. You know, these are the things, these are the life learned lessons. So like my wife said, as we got older, that same, those same girls that we didn't want nothing to do with, now like the song go. Now I knew that girls are for, made for kissing, never knew what I was missing. Cowboys and girls. <laughs> See, now that we was older, it was like, oh, you know, we trying to get, we trying to get Michelle, Tina, Maria, we trying to get her attention now. But now, she flipping on us like, ew. Cause see, she still got that memory. That memories go back deep sometimes. She remember how we mushed her when we was in the first grade. It's like, yo, we 18, 21 now. We, we, we you talking about some ill. Like I remember, you used to try to be funny when we was kids. You used to always act funny towards me. You'd be like, yo, but we was, we was kids. You know what her, her response would be when we go, we trying to make excuses. <laughs> yo, we was kids. She'd be like, so? I don't care. I still remember that. Like, <laughs> sometimes people be hurt deep. You know what I'm saying? They go real deep. Like, what, what did old boy say in Shrek? He said, cut me deep, Shrek. Donkey. He said, you cut me deep. You 
cut me deep, Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> like sometimes that's how it go. It do go so deep. It might have happened in first grade when you dissed that girl, and now y'all 25, and you want to try to talk to her. She like, ew. <laughs> ew. <laughs> what you mean, ew? I, I used to hate with ew. <laughs> but y'all know the memories you're talking about. Cowboys and girls. I remember when we used to play shoot 'em up, baby, baby. I remember when we chased the girls and beat 'em up, beat 'em. But I was young and didn't understand. But now I'm a grown-up man. I remember peace. <laughs> <laughs>